Hello and welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Brooke Alexander and I am the founder of Creative Mind Academy and the Created Coach Method. In this video, I am going to share with you six, six mistakes that you can avoid when you are starting your online business or when you're running your online business, whatever point you're at in your online business, these things are going to help you because I've been doing this for a while now and I have grown my coaching business from having zero clients and being a coach to now having a training company where I train and certify coaches in NLP, hypnosis, time techniques, EFT, and life and success coaching. So I've learned a lot of things and I've made a lot of mistakes, which is totally fine. And I am going to share these with you in this video. So if you are interested in learning what mistakes you should avoid, then keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and also please consider subscribing. I release videos on business, mindset, spirituality, manifestation, all that good stuff that we all really love to know about. Okay, so let's get into the mistakes. The first thing that I wanna say before I get into the mistakes is Mistakes don't need to be labeled as a bad thing, as a negative thing. I've made a lot of mistakes. However, every single one that I have made, I have been able to look back on and learn from. So the ones that I made that I didn't know at the time that I was making a mistake, that I didn't know that I was doing something that I probably shouldn't be doing or could have done a better way at the time, I didn't know that. But now looking back, those mistakes gave me the opportunity to grow and to develop and I can look back on them and say, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Ask myself questions like, what was I avoiding by actually doing this thing? What did I need to actually learn? So I've been able to use these mistakes not as a failure, not as a setback, not as doing something wrong, but as an opportunity to learn and grow and develop as a person and as a coach and as a trainer and as a business owner. And you can do the same with mistakes that you have made as well. Look back on those mistakes. Look at them from a different perspective. Ask yourself, what did I learn from this mistake? How was I able to grow from this mistake? What's something that I positive that I learned about myself from making this mistake? And the truth is, if you're not, this is how I see things, if you're not making mistakes, you're not going big enough. If you're not failing, you're not going big enough. There is no such thing as failure. The only failure is not trying. The only failure is giving up. And that is how I look at all of these things that I've done over the last many years that I've been in business now is looking back and just seeing them as opportunities to learn and grow and releasing the label of negative, releasing the label of bad. They're not bad, they're not wrong. You're not bad and you're not wrong. You are able to learn from every single one of these mistakes. So in this video, I'm going to share with you six mistakes that I have made that I think would be really helpful to you if you are currently making them, then you could look and ask yourself at these things that I want to continue doing, or maybe you just can avoid them all together if these aren't things that are going to work for you. So let's jump into it. The first one is trying to figure everything out before you get started. You do not need to have everything out before you start the business, the whatever it is that you are starting, okay? You will learn everything that you need to learn along the way. It is impossible to get all of the answers, to have all of the potential scenarios covered, to have everything out figured out before you start. Like guaranteed, it's not going to happen. You will not figure everything out before you start. The much more money-saving approach and time-saving approach is to start now and then figure out what you need to figure out 
as you move along, as you are taking action in your business, as you are doing new things, as you are trying to see if this is going to work or if this is going to work, you will learn what you need to learn along the way. You don't need to learn any more than that and you are going to learn exactly what you do need to learn. The more action you take, the more different paths you try out, the more things that you do, you're going to learn more things. You're going to learn how to be more resilient. You're going to learn how to take action. You're going to learn how to make decisions on the fly when things pop up that you weren't expecting. And that's what's important. That's what's important when it comes to being a successful business owner, when it comes to really making it last, creating and building a sustainable long-term business. So you do not need to have everything figured out before you start. And what I would say to you, if this is something that you are doing now or that you have been doing or you did in the past, what I would say to you is ask yourself, what am I actually avoiding by not starting? Because often one of the reasons that we don't start something is because we are avoiding starting it for some reason that's going on deep down in our subconscious mind. So if you are avoiding doing something, ask yourself why. Ask yourself what you are avoiding. Is it a feeling? Is it a thought? Is it an idea that you have in your head that something will happen if you start, if you do this thing? The second mistake to avoid is letting self-doubt win. Now, this is for some easier said than done, and it can be harder to master, especially when you're starting out not listening to self-doubt and fear and worry and those kinds of things. But what I have learned over the years is all of the doubts that I had, all of the fears that I had, the lack of self-belief, the worry were all based on nothing. They are not true like they are not true they are lies and i could go deeper into how these are all lies and how these are just illusions and they're not true a lot of it has to do with our subconscious mind and how we were brought up and the stories that we tell ourselves our self-concept who we think we are it goes quite deep and this is something that i cover and that you learn about inside the created coach method uh, because everything that we do there is based on subconscious reprogramming so it's a lot for me to go into here in this video but what i do want to say is that you you don't have to listen to the doubt you don't have to listen to the fear I wanna encourage you to try and prove it wrong. There have been so many times that I've been worried about something or had a fear about something and I literally let that determine what I would do. I let it determine what actions I would take, how I would feel, only to a few years later, think back and look back on that time and realize like I was operating based on a lie. I was believing something that wasn't true. And yes, it took me time to prove that that belief wasn't true but now that i know that the limiting beliefs the self-doubt is not based on truth it's so much easier easier for me to ignore it for me to stop listening to it and for me to not take action based on that and for me to actually prove it wrong and the third thing that i want to share with you the third mistake to avoid when you are running your online business oh my gosh i see this one all the time and I did it too. I did it too. The third one is not telling people about your offers. For the longest time when I had started my business, I wasn't um, getting as much traction as I liked and I wasn't making as much money as I wanted and I wasn't getting any clients. And the reason that was, one of the reasons was because I was not telling people about my offers and inviting them to participate. And I had changed my bio to coach, online entrepreneur, whatever, and then expected that would be enough for people to want to start working with me. I would post inspirational quotes and inspirational things on Instagram and mindset things on Instagram and then expect that that would make people somehow mysteriously like figure out what I do and how I help them and how they could work with me and then take all the steps that they needed to take to find out how to work with me. Like that's just, it's not how it works. You need to share your offers with people multiple times. And I actually, like this, 
came up for me a few days ago. Um, Sean was speaking to one of his friends and they were having a conversation a, a bit about like how I was doing and what was going on. And she asked him what exactly I do because she didn't know, even though she follows me on Instagram and looks at all of my stories. So this was a reminder to me that I need to step up how often I'm talking about the Creative Coach Method and what, what's in it. And this is someone who looks at my stories all the time and responds to them. And we have conversations, but she didn't understand and know what it is that I do. So it's really, really important that you are constantly sharing what you do, but most importantly, you have to let people know how they can participate and you have to invite people to participate. You have to let people know how they can work with you, how they can, what their next step is on their journey to working with you. All right. It's really, really, really important. You have to make it as simple as possible. And I could go into a whole other video about this. So if you want to learn more about how to create a journey from follower to client to make it super easy for people to work with you let me know in the comments below and i can definitely make a video on that but the most important point here is that you need to share your offers with people and you need to share it regularly the next one is doing things that you see other people doing and do things that the way that you see everyone else doing them this was a mistake that i made when I first started my business. Now, there's a difference between being inspired by people and kind of seeing what the trends are and things like that. And then there's, ah, oh, I saw this person do it this way, so this is how it needs to be done, right? There's a difference, okay? You can get inspiration from other people without thinking that that's the only way it needs to be done, that's how it has to be done, because you don't have trust in yourself that you can create something that is truly yours, that is unique to you, that is your idea, that your idea is going to be good enough. Okay, so really pay attention to where that is coming from. I. I encourage you, I encourage everyone, my clients, everyone, this is one of the biggest things that I like to talk about, is really doing things your own way. If you see people going this way, you go this way. Do things your own way. Stand for something that you believe in. Talk about things that interest you. Talk about things that you like to talk about. All right, you do not have to do things the way that you've seen other people doing them. What if you were the person to come up with a whole new way of doing things? What if the way that you do things was easier and simpler and more fun and other people wanted to join in on that? You have to allow yourself the chance to believe in your own ideas, to believe that your ideas are good enough. Don't, don't do things the way that other people are doing them. I, every single day, I'm scrolling through Instagram, scrolling, and I just see ad after ad or post after post of people saying the exact same thing and I'm just like, are we not over this already? Does everyone just see through this crap of people saying the exact same thing over and over again? Or am I the only one? And I can't be the only one because there are so much of the same BS just over and over and over again. It's boring, it's annoying. You do not have to do things the way that you see other people doing them. Now, the next mistake, to avoid is not investing in your business. Now, I know investing financially is can be scary for people. I have invested tens of thousands of dollars in my business, in learning about business, in learning about NLP and hypnosis, and I'm not going to stop. And at first, I felt bad for spending the money on the stuff that I had spent it on but I want to give you a mindset shift that really helped me and I think it's gonna help you too. Instead of looking at it as though you've spent money, see the money that you invest in yourself and you invest in your business as money that's actually just been transformed into a different form of energy and it's been transformed into information that now lives inside of you 
so that you can make more and more and more money. So what you've actually done is you've increased the value of the money that you've spent because you've added something to it. You've turned money into information and that ink information can be used to make more money over and over and over and over again. So obviously make the right financial decisions for you, but investing in my business and like there's been times when I invested in my business and I didn't know how I was going to pay for it. Like I, I, I didn't have the money to pay for the things that I was going to pay for and I don't think that everyone should do it that way, but that was just what I did at the time and it worked out. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for that. I wouldn't have the training company and the business that I have today if it wasn't for that. And the final one that I have for you is waiting until you feel confident. So many people make the mistake of waiting until they feel confident or even until they feel motivated. Whatever it is for you, waiting until you feel a certain type of way until you take action. So many people wait until they feel a certain type of way before they take action, before they give themselves permission to take action. Confidence, motivation, whatever it is, these things, these feelings are not prerequisites for taking action. They are not prerequisites for success. You can be successful, achieve your goals, even if you start out before you feel confident. You do not need to feel a certain type of way in order to deserve what you desire, to be worthy of what you desire. You can take action now, you can start moving towards your goals and action breeds confidence. The Confidence comes from taking action, from taking action, from putting yourself in situations that you've never been in before, and then realizing that you actually can do it and that you're okay. So these were my top mistakes to avoid when you are running an online business. I really hope these were helpful for you. If you have any mistakes that you have, mistakes that you have made that you now can look back on and realize, probably didn't need to do that, then please share them in the comments below because I know a lot of people can, can benefit from this and I wish there were things that I had kind of um, heard when I first started, like don't sit around all day long just trying to research hashtags in order to avoid doing actual work, like that was something I did too, didn't need to do that. So there are certain things obviously that can really benefit people from hearing like, don't do this thing, it's a waste of your time and your money. So. That is it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a little thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in our next video.